Hey everyone, welcome to the Bullet Train Dash here. It's been a while I know, but I've been dealing with stuff in life, and for now we're actually going to start a second series. Uh, this is not going to be a blind playthrough because I have played this game before, but it's a game called Game Dev Tycoon that I've always thought it's fun to hop in and play, but I haven't played it in, god, maybe three or four years actually, and... I saw some stuff online about it. I think it's had some updates because what I saw online looked totally different than what I remember. So yeah, we're just going to hop in, see what we can come across here. I weren't doing any achievement hunting or anything. We're just going to play the game and see if I can remember how to play it and what kind of chaotic things we come across. Uh, yeah, as a game developer, this could be interesting because I remember you can pick themes and consoles and all these different things. I'll be curious to, if any of that knowledge I have will translate into this game. I'm sure it won't uh, because this game's intended to be fun and not necessarily all icky on the, I'm sure the, the nitty gritty underneath it. But who knows? We'll see what they've done, especially since they've upgraded since I last played. The game does have workshop support here on Steam, but I don't have any mods downloaded. But I did take a quick look and there looks like there's some, a lot of mods, like adding older consoles that didn't succeed, changing the names of companies because they obviously don't use the name Nintendo and Sega. It's like Pretendo and Vega or whatever. I don't know what they call it. Um, yeah, so let's hop in here. So says, welcome, welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In the business simulation, you've been transported back in time to start your own game dev company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. You can, but you probably won't. <laughs> Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. Um, well, we will call it Bullet Train. And player, obviously, is Dash. And let's see what we got here. Do I have long hair? Nope, can't do long hair. So we'll do that. Let's get a pimpin' jacket. Oh, look at that sweater vest, man. Rocking it. I mean, we're doing the sweater vest. All right, because you got me. I was also the 70s. Uh, and continue. Since you've played the game before, you can choose to use all previously gained hints this game. Would you like to import all previously gained hints? No, we're going to start from scratch. All right. We're in our garage. Oh, well, let's develop a game. Okay, what topics have we got available? I think these are random. So we do a mythology game, a prison game, a hospital game, or a spy game. Let's pick a spy. What kind of genres are available? Ooh. A spy action game? Yeah, think like Metal Gear. Uh, now we can put this on the G64, which is the Commodore, or the PC. I see genre match. I don't think when I played last time it would give you hints like this. So certain consoles are better for certain genres, and you kind of have to learn that as you go. One moment while I take a drink. Getting over a bit of a sore throat. So I'm trying to get my throat lubricated so that I can talk to you guys. Oh, uh, we have... Oh, my headphones just messed up on me. We have... What do we got here? So we have... Oh my god, my headphones are going all kinds of crazy. There we go. I need to get a new cable for them. Uh, we're going to put the G64... We're going to go PC. Well, the G64 has a bigger market share. Hello. Did the music just quit? Okay, so we no longer have music, apparently. Interesting. Oh, there it is. That was bizarre. All right, so we can spend 20 grand, which is a huge part of our current pro uh, income. It's not much of a market share difference, let's be completely honest. I mean, it's a bit, bit of a swing, but 40% of the market to pay 25%. Yeah, we'll go with PC. Uh, what are we going to call this game? Oh, man. Um, um, I'm terrible at thinking up names. This game will be Iron Sprocket instead of Metal Gear. So there we go. Next. What? Oh, pick genre. Did I not pick action? I'm sorry. Next. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're going to have 2D graphics. And that's it. So we start development. So now we start developing. So we put points in design, technology. We create bugs. Okay. Time allotment. 
I don't, right now I'm putting equal time into the story, the gameplay, and the engine. We're actually going to lower the engine. Simple 2D engine. We want really good gameplay. And we want a good story. The thing is, if I do this, these are effectively going to have the same amount of time. But if I lower this, I'm actually also raising this. So it's not how much intensity you're putting on that. It's these all control your total allotment. See, if I lower this down, then this becomes a bigger part of the menu down here. Uh, so we want gameplay to have a lot. I mean, I'm big on gameplay. I'm big on story too. But the story is only good if the gameplay is good, usually. So we'll go with that. All right, look at that research building up. All right, now we're going for stage two. We want we want some good dialogue. AI, this uh, this early in the game, not as important. Let's get some good level design. Let's go for that. I'm just winging it. I'm gonna have a really good design studio with some shitty technology. Okay. We got some basic sound. I'll turn off. Now we'll keep that. Uh, sounds not as important on this part. Let's get some decent graphic, but really good world design. This is going to be a heavy design driven game and the technology is going to be minor, but let's be fair back in this day, the technology really wasn't super powerful. I mean, it was good at the time. Now we got bugs and I'm going to make sure all the bugs are fixed. Come on, come on. One more bug. You got it. There we go. So now we have a game. Oh, bonuses for a new topic, new combo. Okay. Gain any experience? Can I click and just skip all this? I can. Sweet. So now if I don't think this game's going to do any good, we can trash it. Or we can release it. And we can also change its name. We're going to keep Iron Sprocket. We're going to release the game. And then immediately... Game history. Let us... Oh, and generate a game report. This is important. If you generate a game report, you get more research. So like, boom. Okay, reviews are in. I'm betting all threes and fours. Oh my god, that's a lot of one. Waste of time. Man, Star Games don't know what they're talking about. They shouldn't forget about engine. Okay, well apparently they care more about the tech. See? See? It's got a good story, pricks. Uninspiring. Y'all suck. Well, either way, we'll find out why. It's the first game. Game the moderate response from reviewers. Curious what they'll deliver in the future. Sweet. Well, we sold a couple thousand units. Not bad. Making some making some cash monies. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. Post release analysis: Iron Spock is complete. Spy and action is a great combo, and engine is very important for this type of game. See, so, yeah, I didn't think that. All right, so we got that. We've got some research. Let's do research here. I can look into... <gasps> I have to research Rhythm Game. You understand, I'm a huge Rhythm Game fan. I work with a group called uh, Beat Gamer. You should check us out on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Beat Gamer. We run a lot of events for local conventions in Utah. It's not where I live anymore, but I used to do it. Uh, okay, so we got that. Now let's, we need to get a new game going. So we need to make money. Let's go Topic. I don't think right now I want to do a rhythm game, though. Um, yet. Let's do a hospital sim sim game. Oh, wait. Actually, do I have prison sim? Hospital sim. And we're going to do it on... Um... God, it's going to take all my money. Should we gamble on a G64 title or stick with the PC? I think we should stick with PC. And then this is just going to be a uh, um, ER, just ER, like the show, but way earlier. So the show's ripping us off, actually. Uh, we're going to keep it graphics. Now, the tech on a sim game is super important. We're going to do that. Story's not super important. Gameplay, pretty important. We're going to do that. Boop, 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 boop. I'm getting nothing into technology. I'm confused. Okay, AI needs to be good. Dialogue does barely needs anything. Let's put a little bit in there. And yeah, we'll do that. 
I'm getting a ton of research. I'm getting no technology points. What the, oh, there we go. Finally. Iron Sprocket is off the market. Um, Sound is important. Actually, sound for a simulation is probably not that important. Graphics are good. World design should have some work on it. Boom. Let's take a look at this. Iron Sprocket's off the market. It sold almost 7,000 units and generated almost, oh, almost 47,000 in sales. Hmm. Given how much these games cost to make, I may not be doing very good. God, that's terrible. Region markets today is telling out some competitors. Consumers for the lower price, greater availability, and flexible hardware configurations over time. Well, x price might spell the end of competing manufacturers. Luckily, we know that's not true. All right, let's let's push this thing out the door. New tech record. All right, scroll them all down. And we'll release it. Oof. And we're immediately going to start developing a new game. Mythology RPG. For... I can't afford to do a G64 title. We'll call this... Uh, uh, Mega Hercules game. Oh, uh, no, let's actually call it... Mm, Dante. Just Dante. Good graphics. Okay, see what ER does. Well, it's already looking a lot better. Oh, there we go. See, we just had to get a... Oh, you game informed gamer, you know what you're talking about. Game hero, god damn it. Hospital and simulation is a great combination. No shit. All right, well, we got better reviews this time. All right, what is this? An RPG? Well, the story is clearly important in an RPG. Engine we're going to bring down. I think gameplay is pretty damn important. We'll put gameplay and engine in the same level of work. Uh, yeah, there. I need to get me some sales. Hey! Hey! ER was successful. We not we didn't even get fans off the first game. Oh my god. That's not good. Alright, so now we are at this with dialogue. Again, RPG, dialogue is important. The AI, not terribly important. I mean it's important, but if you ever really go play like a Final Fantasy and see how the AI in the battles work, it's really simplistic. Alright, let's do that. I mean, you'll see speedrunners control the AI just by doing certain actions. It's because it's not a complicated system. Oh my god, come on. Uh, sound is important in my opinion. Uh, world design, graphics at this era. We're going to do this. Japanese company Nintendo is planning to launch its own home gaming console. It's known for its wildly successful arcade game, Dinky King. I want, a, I want a patch or an update that just fixes all these things. Where it's actually Nintendo and Donkey Kong. Okay, many industries, many many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off. <laughs> They're wrong. All right, well we got a new level of design. A new like, that's the most we've gotten in a design so far. Er achieved a company sales record with over ten thousand units sold. It's an important milestone in the history of Bullet Train. All right, boop. 14 and 8, low tech. That's fast. I think the design of an RPG is better. I mean, it's important to get good, uh, ooh, some level ups. To get good tech into a game, an RPG, but old school? Not really. Release the game. And while we're here, let's generate a game report on ER. Alright, let's hope it's not awful. What? See, there's some tens popping in that one. Could have been better. Well, yeah, but I'm not that good yet. Leave me alone, guys. Why you gotta be so hateful? Five, six, seven. Is this an eight? All right. Fair enough. Hey, it's the first one for that game, so we'll see where we end up next. 
BR is off the market, sold 11,000 units and generated almost 80 grand in sales. <clears throat> oh, game report. Pulse analysis of ER is complete. Hotel simulation, hotel. Hospital simulation, a great story quest seemed to not be very important. Uh, PC simulation is great. Contract work. Hey, I just finished Dante and I'm impressed by your talent. Uh, I'm in the contracting business and we could use skills like yours. Uh, if you're ever short on cash, let me know and I will see if I have some work for you. Nice. All right. Let's do some research. Oh, for 50 RP, I can research building a custom game engine. Oh, let's do it. While it's doing that. So yeah, Iron Sprocket did awful. Actually, it cost me 31,000 to make. And so I profited 15,000 off of that. Profited 40,000 off ER. And we're still selling Dante, so we don't know where it's gonna end up. The Tess, or the Ness, the entertainment system. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Damn, it dropped off immediately though. Rank 100. Wow. It... New research available. Custom game engine. All right. Let's do this. Let's do some more research. Can't do any more research because I don't have things. Generate a game report for Dante. That'll give me some research. Six. Seven. Okay, got a game report. Dante is complete. Myth and RPG is good. Story seems to be very important. And the platform genre match, PC RPG, it was good. All right. Let's develop a new game. First off, can I put it on the NES yet? Nope. All right. Adventure, action, RPG, and simulation. Well, let's see where our topics are. We've done hospital, spy, mythology. So let's do a prison. Hmm. I do not know. If you do too much of the same game back to back, you actually get negative hits. I remember that. But a prison simulation is different than a hospital simulation. And we just did an RPG, so actually doing a simulation now is probably not a bad idea. So we'll make a prison simulation for... We're gonna, we'll, 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 we'll splooge a bit and do it on the G64. Um... This will be called Locked Up. Gonna do graphics. Lost 30 grand on that. Okay, so for simulation, stories, not important. Gameplay and engine, very important. We're gonna max them out. Dante's off the market. Sold 12,000 units, generated almost 90,000 in sales. There's a little thing down here. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's the pause. Okay, cool. Oh, dialogue, not that important. AI, I think AI is important for this. As you learn, I think it tells you down here because it said that for the last thing. So let's do level design on a simulation. I think AI is more important. Because look at uh, Microsoft Flight Sim. The level design there is kind of meh. Oh, here we go. World design. Graphics. Sound, I don't think is important. Hmm, which is more important? World design for the simulation. Or the, we'll go with the graphics. Gotta have catchy graphics. I want these numbers to get higher. This is getting annoying. Keep going. I think that might be a new tech record. Oh, the test has released. I don't think I have enough money to d develop for it. Here we go. New tech record. Oh, damn, look at all those leveled up. Hey, I leveled up. Sweet. We're going to release it. Reviews came in. That was quick. Ooh, that didn't look good. Falls a bit short. That's okay, these games are all gonna be cult classics. Quirky but good, see? 
That means in like, on the second hand market, our shit's gonna be gold. Unfortunately, that doesn't help us. Alright. Not the worst. Uh, oh, we generate a game report. We're locked up. Do it. Get some more research. Why, why'd you stop? Get back to work. Game report's complete. Prison and simulation's a great combo. Graphics seem to be very important for this type of game. Okay. Good to know. Um, let's do some research. First off, new topic. Technology. Let's do post-apocalyptic. Start research. And then we'll research tutorial. You have to research, I remember that, you have to research a bunch of things like tutorials and such. And as you research those, you can um, build game engines with those systems in place. And then you can add those to games. So researching, let's see what a uh, topic to that. Oh, Cyberpunk, we're grabbing that. You successfully researched a new topic. We're going to do a Cyberpunk RPG. On the NES, if I can afford it. I think it's like an $80,000 licensing fee or something. Locked up's off the market, only sold 10,000. Didn't do as good as I'd hoped. All right, we got Cyberpunk. Uh, develop a new game. Topic. Damn, there is a ton of stuff down here. All right, we are going to do Cyberpunk. Or do we want post-apocalyptic? Do we want Fallout or do we want uh, System Shock? <laughs> it's a Cyberpunk RPG. On, yeah, see, it cost me eighty thousand just to license. We're gonna do it. Why not, right? Uh, and we will call this uh, Dark Sprint instead of Shadow Run. Uh, we'll keep it as two D graphics. Oh! Whoop! Uh, engine and gameplay. We'll do that. I'm going to go into the red. I may go bankrupt. I forgot to calculate the fact that they're, they're, the license and the development fees are on top of each other. Um, for an RPG, dialogue's important. AI, low level design. Yeah. Your bank account's in the red. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. As long as I don't go over $50,000 in the red, I'm okay. Otherwise, I have to take out a loan, and then I have, like, so much time to pay it back. World design. Graphics. Sound. There we go. Sure. Come on. We need, we need a quality title. Bing! Man, look at that design, though. It is skyrocketing. Fix that bug. Fix that bug. Oh. 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 Look at that. A little extra there at the end. Beautiful. Both are new records. Dark Sprint is going to be a game of legend. Oh. Sound better. Um. Yeah. Release. Because we need the fucking money. Hey. So I can research mono sound now. Because my sound ability went up. All right. Massive success. That's perfectly timed because I just put a game for sale. I love the games that come with the test and playing with the controller. It's so much for, more fun than on a keyboard. Humorously, I'm on a computer right now. First reviews for a game came in. Come on, be like decent. Okay, seven. I'll take sevens. Oh, hello. An eight. Nice. Another eight. Oh. Oh, come on. Hit nine. Hit nine. Hey, I'll take eights. We have got a massive hit. Come on. Oh, look at that. Over 10,000 units in our first hit. Boom! Fucking beautiful. Oh, generate a game report. We need to see what we can learn. Take a drink of my drink while we're researching. Hey, we got 36 more fans. Rank 15. Game report. Post analysis of that says Cyberpunk and RPG is great, sure. Dialogue's very important for this type of game. And the 
test RPGs. Okay. Well, um, let's do some research real quick. Um, new topic. <gasps> racing. Yes. I love racing games. I mean, I haven't played a racing game on this channel yet, but I have the intention. Just haven't done it. All right. Oh, don't stop for there. Okay, cool. Boom. Research. We need to actually start researching some of this stuff. So we're going to research mono sound. Man. Oh, it's off the market. Damn, games stay off the mark on the market for like no time. Thirty-seven thousand units generated two hundred six thousand dollars in sales. Beautiful. So recent studies suggest that increasing variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialized games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers while others cater to more mature groups. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. Target audience is available. Now I'm out of research, so I'm going to have to do a game next. But... Don't forget creating custom game engines. This will improve your games a lot. You can create a custom game engine through... Yeah, I already know. I'm going to make a game. So here's what we're doing. If I go to custom game engine, I can say, I want this to be able to have 2D graphics, linear story, save game ability, mono. And it will cost me $120,000 to make this engine. Oh, shit. So we're going to do a game. One game. Uh, platform. Throwing it on here. Topic. We'll do a racing uh, action. No, I don't know if racing action will be any good. I don't want to do racing right now. Let's do a post-apocalyptic adventure game. We'll call this one uh, Sand Sads. <laughs> Oh, sand. I know. Um. Just winter. For like nuclear winter. <clears throat> We're putting them 2D graphics in. A text-based game on the NES. Immediately. Two bugs. Fantastic. Uh, we want a little bit of engine. This is an adventure game. So I'm thinking gameplay is the most important. Yeah, let's do that. I have no idea. I gotta research more about uh, mass success of the test. There are rumors that Vena, another okay, so Sega's making their Genesis or the Master System, I bet. Boop boop. Boop boop boop. These are fun to watch. Oh! Uh, for an adventure game, dialogue's really not that important. AI is probably a little more important, but it's all about that level design. Okay, so now we get here. That's all right. Graphics, world design is going to be super important for this, I believe. Ah, actually, I bet it's the other way around. For an adventure game, you want hella graphics with a decent world. Not doing very good. Yeah, this this came out awful, but I got it. I got to got to sell it. Yep, master system. You gonna polish it at all? You're at a bug. Okay. Well, this one's not gonna be as good. Keep it going. Uh, should I even release Winter? Yeah, we'll release it, but it's not gonna be that good. All right. Um. Hmm. Let's see how it does. Maybe I'll get lucky. Oop. Nope. Yeah, I felt bad about it. I shouldn't have released this. That's okay. That's okay. We got an idea. Because if I go in here and I go... Well, first off, let's generate a game report and see what we can learn from it. At least I sold a couple thousand units. Oh, I lost 12 fans. Oh, shit. I'm losing all my fans. 
Post-apocalyptic and adventures, okay. AI's not as important. All right. And platform genre matches. So it was just bad. Okay, so don't do adventure on the NES. Let's go game history. I did Dark, Sp or Dark Sprint, which was massively successful. Locked Up did meh. Dante was all right, wasn't it? Oh, no, I wasn't done in there. Shit. Uh, game history. Now, this was an RPG for Cyberpunk. Hmm. Okay, well, let's do this. Let's go research. Um, new top vocabulary game? Really? No. All right, we're going to do a game engine. Uh, yeah, we're going to create a custom game engine. We want 2D graphics. We're going to do a linear story, save game, and model sound. I can't afford this. Uh, we need another hit. Or do we just... We're going to do one more new game. Hold on just a second. Yep, Telegram's still running. I'm aware. Let's shut it down completely because it's going to keep making noise. Quit Telegram. Beautiful. All right. That way it'll stop interrupting our fantastic game time. All right, let's pick a topic. We want... Let's do a racing simulator on console? I don't know. Here's the deal. I think consoles in general will be better for racing sims, but I don't think they're good for this. Let's make a PC game first off, because that's cheaper to develop for. Simulation's popular. But is there a better sim we could do? No, let's do a racing sim. We'll call this, um... Nismo, because I love uh, Nissan. Nismo Racing. Put 2D graphics in. No story request. Engine's extremely important. Gameplay is probably about right there. The good thing is, it's, I mean, it's obvious racing sim is going to work. All right, don't care about dialogue. AI is important, as is level design. Um, you want good racers. Yeah, let's do that. Let's keep it going. Now, hopefully this will be successful enough that, yeah, graphics, super important, world design. We'll put there, sound will lower down. Oh, uh, oh, Vegas, or the Sega Master System's come out. All right. Beautiful. Let's fix some bugs. Come on, can I get one more point of that technology? Nope. All right. Recently released game console is stirred up worldwide. Industry experts say the console is not very... Well, marketed in North America, but it'll flourish in other parts of the world. It's pretty accurate, because you never heard about that in the U.S. All right, come on. A new record for tech. Let's build everything up. We're going to release it, and I just hope to God it does well. It's off the market. It barely fucking broke 10,000 units. All right, come on. First reviews ran, please. Just be better than five. Better than five. That's what I want. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. That was a tease. It was locking that tin in for so long. There we go. Now that, that, that's how you make a good game. All right. Let us generate a game report on Nismo Racing. 
For those of you that aren't into cars, when I said Nismo and Nissan, Nismo is Nissan's racing division. So, like, you'll see Nismo tuned versions of their cars. Game report. Nismo racing, racing simulation is great. Gameplay seems to be very important. Yep. All right. Let's go in here. Let's go to research. New topic. Oh, fuck. I'm going to go ahead and research tech. Now, we're going to research game tutorials. I don't think target audience has to go into an engine. That's just you can actually add that to your development style. All right. And now we go research target audience. Perfect. We'll get target audience, and then we're going to start building an engine. Once we get the engine complete, we'll call that an episode. Nismo Racing is now off the market. Damn, it only sold 29,000 units. Research available. Casual games. That's cool. Create custom engine. We're going to throw everything on. This is going to be the best engine out there. Uh, and this is going to be called... Called... The... Bullet engine. Because it's so fast. Create that engine. Recent market shows that the Commodore 64 seems to be losing market share against other PC manufacturers. The unsuccessful in higher price computers. Yep. It's accurate. And I just watch that number slowly drop to where we can't afford to do anything. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Oh my god. It takes so long to, to build out. We're gonna let the engine finish because I don't know if anything special happens. Oh yeah, now it's building the game tutorials into it. Oh, okay. Your new game engine, bullet engine, is now complete. They've announced that they will create the Gameling. So Game Boy's coming out. All right. It's underpowered and given low cost, and it might be find a huge following. It's gonna hit shelves next month. All right. So we're gonna call that an episode. Uh. Post down below. I'm about to record a second episode, but I'll say post down below what you what you like so far. What uh, what your thought? If you ever played this game, it's a lot of fun. I, I'm I really enjoy it. I forgot how much I enjoyed it last time. Um, don't worry, Facebook or Facebook. Wow, Fallout still getting played. Uh, I've been super slammed with work and life and things just got really hectic these last couple weeks. So I haven't been able to maintain uh, upload schedule like I wanted to, but I'm still working on getting this stuff squared away. Uh, yeah, so I hope you're continuing to enjoy everything that's coming out thus far and continue to stick with the channel and tune in next time when we continue playing through some more, uh, well, Game Dev Tycoon or Fallout 4. Till then, stay awesome and take care.